The United Republic of Tanzania is a country in Central East Africa, close to the equator. The country is surrounded by ocean on the left, Kenya in the northeast, Uganda in the north, Rwanda and Burundi in the northwest, a small portion of Zambia in the southwest, and lastly, Mozambique in the south. This country is approximately 947.303 km squared and comprises of several continental islands. Unguja, which is also known as Zanzibar, Pemba and Mafia Islands are the Zanzibar archipelago. Africa's greatest lakes are surrounding this country with Lake Victoria on the north, Lake Tanganyika on the west and Lake Malawi in the south. The natural land cover of Tanzania is dominated by six main vegetation types. The first one being shrublands, followed by tree-covered areas of forests, which are in turn followed by grasslands. Herbaceous vegetation is located in the central region, followed by bare soil. Sparse vegetation covers the least amount of land in Tanzania and it is located in Mount Kilimanjaro region. The Serengeti National Park in the north of Tanzania, which is an area of 14.763 km squared, can easily be named the most famous terrestrial conservation area in the world. This reserve is famous for its wildlife migration of over a million wildebeest, which are accompanied by 200,000 zebras and 300,000 gazelles. It is also the oldest nature reserve in Tanzania. Tanzania has got 50% of its land masses protected at the present moment. This is a total of 626 protected areas. The protected area values of Tanzania total an area of 310.029 km squared. Of this, 303.316 km squared is land and 6.713 km squared is marine reserves. This in percentage totals 32% of land percentages and 18% of the marine area protected. Mount Kilimanjaro is an amazing range. It is only isolated mountain in the entire world that has six world climate zones. These climate zones range from tropics to the Arctic zones as the top of, mount of the mountain is glacial region comprising of snow all throughout the year. There are other famous reserves and or protected areas in this region such as the Gorongoro Conservation Area and the, a few fossil famous regions such as the Old Dubai Gorge. Another fascination for tourism in Tanzania are the Zanzibar Islands. These islands are locations of famous um, world tourists. Beaches are white and sands are clear and water is blue. The stone town of Zanzibar is famous for its ancient castle building. Tanzania has got wonderful sceneries and cultures. The Swahili people are native to Tanzania and Kenya. They can be noticed by their brightly colored red blankets. This group of, of herdmen in the fields are performing a traditional dance. A common scene is that of the wildebeest at the Serengeti National Reserve in large numbers. According to the Living National Trail Reserve website, Tanzania has got 307 endemic and keystone species. This is an amazing amount and it is no wonder that it is known as the safari haven of the world. A few endemic species in Tanzania include mammals such as the Zanzibar red colobus, which is listed as vulnerable according to the IUCN criteria. The Kipunji is an endemic monkey that is critically endangered as well. Reptiles are endemic to Tanzania include the flat-faced Akama, which is not threatened, and the Kinyongia fisheri, which is a chameleon. Since Tanzania is surrounded by lakes from all directions, it makes sense that 108 freshwater species are endemic to this country. Amphibians in Tanzania are diverse and come in all shapes and sizes. Tanzanian communities rely on agriculture for food sustainability. Therefore, people amounts of land all over the country are disturbed, meaning that they have been altered from their natural state. This map shows both areas of crops and artificial surfaces such as concrete layers. The land of Zanzibar is currently almost entirely covered by artificial surfaces, meaning that habitat is almost lost at 100%. Animals endemic in Zanzibar archipelago are fast becoming extinct. The objective 
of this project was to conserve endemic and keystone species of Tanzania so as to prevent possible extinction by conserving the habitats they belong to. This is to be done by creating a systematic conservation plan where additional conservation areas are added when looking at the endemic species' current habitats. For materials and methods, Downloads of the administrative areas, the mast elevation, the protected areas, the mast population, the roads, the rails, and the ecoregions were extracted to designated folders and used either in Diva GIS or ArcView, where they were saved as shapefiles and exported to Idrisit 32 or imported from other shapefiles to Idrisit 32. The downloaded um, information are imported files were converted to raster and Dutrici 32 and finally used for final map creations. A legend was used on the imported GLC200 legend. If necessary, a palette was created to give suitable colors to maps. Hexagons were created in, in ArcView via the administrative layer and exported to Idrisi 32. For marks and tenure layers, tenure process layers and planning unit layers were required. In addition to these maps, a minimum of 12 endemic or keystone species, species distribution maps were generated from the IUCN Red List data list. I had 45 endemic species um, to Tanzania, 10 of which were amphibians, 11 of which were freshwater species, 10 were mammal species, 7 were reptiles, 7 and were birds. Each map was imported to Idrisi 32 and converted to a raster. The endemic animals were then put into a raster group where they were to be inserted while running Marksen. Marksen was run using a 6.6 .6 of the Marksen handbook um, tutorial. For the results, the ecological planning unit and the systematic planning unit maps are raster layers and are similar and different at the same time. The roads to the ecological planning units require an overlay of the watershed map, the provinces map and eco-regions and the protected areas. First to be overlaid was the watershed map and the provinces map. Secondly to be overlaid was the eco-regions and lastly was the protected areas. The result was the e ecological planning unit on the left and the systematic planning unit on the right. The total number of unprotected species is two under the current parameters for, bro for both planning units being mammal species known as the grey face sengi and the fish species known as Orion Chromis amphimalas. The current protected areas are the same, although the ecological planning unit for the current protected areas have a greater area. The central regions are not protected for both maps. The future model results indicate a decreased total area of final reserves for both planning units when compared to the current units. Both planning units have got 338,818 kilometers squared as total area of existing results. The conservation targets are not made for five species in the, in the ecological planning units, two of which are the same as the previous and an added bird species of Dudumi gecko and a fish named Astaro e Chromis van der Hosti. The systematic conservation plan does not reach the target for the same two species from the current reserve. Areas of the new reserve are the ones in varieties of colors for both planning units. Areas to be conserved are Lake Victoria in the north and Rungwe province in the southwest. A corridor is created as a new reserve area between Celia's Game Reserve in the south and Rungwe Game Reserve. Another area needed for conservation is the Dera Salam region in the east. This area is one of the massive artificial surfaces in Tanzania. This is an important current, re current requirement for the terrestrial conservation for the United Nations conservation requirements, which say that each country should conserve at least 10% of its terrestrial environment and a minimum of 20% of its marine environment where applicable. Since Tanzania is currently 2% short of the United Nations requirements, more emphasis on the marine conservation must be implemented. Of the 626 protected areas in Tanzania, 114 of them are categorized under Inter International Union for Conservation of Nature. More detailed information is required regarding the conservation status of Tanzania. 
one can visit the Protected Planet website for this information. Ma one might wonder how an African country that is developing is able to assign such a large percentage of its land for conservation. While this was not planned initially by the Tanzanian government, especially because Tanzania relies extensively on agriculture for food security. This is partly because the country is a mega diverse country of variable landscapes and animals, being second in line in terms of natural resources attractiveness in the world. This country relies mostly on tourism and agriculture in terms of the GDP. The current protected areas both have central regions which are most unprotected because the regions are of agriculture and they have less biodiversity and species richness as this area is a semi-desert area. The Lake Victoria is selected as a new reserve because it comprises of a variety of freshwater fish species endemic to the country. The corridor created between the two nature reserves in the south is to increase the reserves and for, uh, to create a large protected area um, instead of patches. Tanzania needs this further protection because it is the only way for assured ecosystem degradation prevention. If we continue to protect species and work on protected, currently unprotected species, we will be working to prevent species loss. In conclusion, Mount Kilimanjaro's ice cap is slowly melting. This has been going on for a few decades. This is a small and visible wake-up call to all Tanzanians alike because the terms global warming and climate change are being experienced firsthand in the country. We are currently under the seventh extinction, an extinction which is resulting from, from homo sapiens. It is up to us homo sapiens to work together globally to prevent this seventh extinction. We definitely need to do right and to right our wrongs by conserving the little natural environments left.